r slash forever alone. Kelp Culpa says. Confidence doesn't matter. Results do. Confidence is a real concept. It's basically being sure of your abilities, or being assured about the outcome of something that's all it is. If you're ugly you can't be confident in your ability to attract people, because it usually just doesn't happen. If you're confident about something, but you're unsure of the results. That's not confidence. It's being delusional confidence isn't measurable like results are. The reason attractive people are confident is because they can actually measure their results by how many dicks or pusses they've gotten wet and hard with their faces, and how many people have wanted to date them, and have accepted them socially, and been nice to them in this. Case confidence isn't what attracts, it's your looks. Then confidence follows the idea that confidence is what attracts people is a lie period we are even confident. We are confident in the fact that we are ugly and struggle with dating as a result, and usually are mistreated. We are confident in those results, but that doesn't attract confidence does not attract people, or make them treat you nicely, because it can't be quantified or measured, only the results you produce, can so in that sense attractive people don't even need to be, or appear confident, because they will produce their desired results regardless. It's just they've produced such consistently successful results, that they become confident. Banalisha Kenshit says. Confidence is just normie speak for doing literally anything while hot. Solbagi0408 says. The alternative to this is confidence just not giving a shit so, even if you are unsure it is arguably beneficial, to not overly conform and pretend to be something you're not. Like don't fake being into sports, or pretend to hate anim, just as a means to fit in. However, the positive reinforcement confidence is definitely undoubtedly superior. Would rather just know through positive experiences, that things will be mostly easy. Constantly struggle certainly beats down a man's confidence and self-esteem more than anything else will. Carlos20x6 says. My opinion differs from this. I feel this might be too literal of an interpretation of all you need to be is confident. Cause to me, confidence isn't a magic end all be all, that immediately brings happiness. I see confidence as a tool, to help accomplish a task. Like during a job interview. If I slouch, mutter, and play with my hands with nerves, that won't instill confidence in a potential employers, that I'm ready for this. If I sit up straight, square my shoulders, speak firmly, and look professional, maybe they'll hire me. There's no guarantee, but that's my point. Confidence is only one of several things that can potentially help. We are all free to decide whether or not confidence will help, but I'll always make the attempt to be as confident as possible in any situation that could expect it, and I always encourage others to do the same. Blighted but took up says. I've put in the work, I tightened up my diet, I hit the gym, I started seeing a real hairstylist, I started a skin care routine, etc. At the end of the day, if I still don't manage to ever attract someone, I'm not blaming myself. It's not my fault. I did what I was supposed to do. I'm not sitting around hating myself for failing. I'm turning that frustration outward, and getting mad at the world for not giving me what I deserve, mad at society for not valuing the right things, mad at those who snubbed me for not giving me a chance. Life simply isn't fair, and I pulled a short straw. Better to be lonely than lonely and self-loathing. That's confidence. I'm confident I'm a good person. I'm secure in my identity. I'm not confident that I can secure a favorable outcome, because the outcome depends on a ton of external factors. But myself? Yeah, I'm good. I'm confident that I'm at least putting in my best effort, and if that doesn't work it isn't necessarily because I didn't do enough, or didn't do it right. It certainly does help attract, or at least it's a minor. r slash forever alone. Drelix says. I have decided to completely give up on dating and romance. 
I've reached a point in my life where I just don't think I could ever be with anyone. I don't think I have the capability of making another person happy. I don't think my presence in another person's life could add value to their life. I'm mentally overwhelmed from past trauma. I'm not sure I know how to have fun. I want to have fun, but it's like the concept of it got removed from me. I haven't had sex in years. I haven't really tried to pursue anyone in a very long time. I've had crushes in the last few years. I've met people I liked so much, but I can't see myself fitting into their lives. I just can't picture myself as being a good thing for someone else. A lot of my friends talk to me about getting a girlfriend, and people do remind me that I'm not that unattractive. I'm out of shape and healing from a back injury, but I love jogging slash running, and I look decent when I'm cut. Not that impressive or anything, but in that way, that everyone looks more attractive when they're a bit lean or muscular, and have a decent haircut. I don't feel like being able to attract someone is good enough though. I'll just be that guy who seems cool at first, and then totally disappoints when they realize I have no friends. I'm 33 and feel too old to truly make friends now. I just honestly feel broken, and I think I'm officially forever alone. It doesn't matter if I could meet someone, or score a first date, or anything like that. I'll never be mentally healthy, or put together enough for a successful relationship. I'll never be able to make anyone happy or content. I failed as a man. I failed as a human being. I feel like, if I tried to be with someone despite my flaws I'd just end up hurting people, so I just have to be alone from now on. So that I don't hurt anyone, or waste their time. Granite Smithy says. I feel this way too. Even though I'm younger, I feel like I'm far too down the pit of bitterness and misandry to function properly in a relationship. Love is just a luxury that I did something in a past life to not merit. Maybe I was a particularly vicious mongol general or something. Alan1013 says. Even though you feel this way, PLS don't say you failed as a man, or as a human. Truth be told not everyone is meant to be married, and have a family, but that doesn't make you a failure at all. You can accept being forever alone, but try and find something that you enjoy. The Immovable says. This is very much me being almost 30, but don't assume you can't bring happiness or value to someone's life. Our past doesn't get to define us today, or where we'll go in the future. More power to you. R slash forever alone. Foxx says. I'm 35 sexless loser. I'm a man who women find totally sexually unattractive good friend. Friend zoned, shorter who they can cry out about their bad boyfriends I was rejected my whole life by every woman I try to get closer to, I was rejected for junkie, who was taking all possible drugs, at work there was woman who was very promiscuous, she slept with all men, yes literally all men in department. Except me, and not because that was my choice, but because I was not attractive for her, I can't pretend anymore, that this is not affecting me. I'm at the age, when most people had already their time, and now they have, or at least planning family. And I did not even have a relationship, not even any hookups, one night stands, but I wish to and I can't handle. Any more fact that I'm on that age, and all this is already gone. I aged very badly, circle of people I know, is very short now, because all of them started family, and are busy with their own stuff what I did all this time. I did not stand still, I really worked on myself, I did years of therapy, medication, positive mindset. I got hobbies, worked hard, getting finances in order, making dreams real it I could even say, that I'm in good place right now with my life. Ironically a lot of people who were laughing at me, are jowls and admire me at least, so I was told by them but so what? As much as I was invisible for women, I still am. This part of my life is already gone, and I'm not okay with that. Wigit Cut Repeat says. I'm on the path to becoming you. 26 currently, still a virgin. 
I fall very easily for any girl who gives me slightest bit of attention. And then I end up being completely addicted to them, making my life about making this better before inevitably my feelings get the better of me, and I have to let go of them. How I wish I was normal. How I wish someone would find me attractive. The thought of being alone, forever, has me stay up at nights. Money is no good when you're lonely. I wish I could just die. Hopefully 2024 is the last year I'm here. I can't live this like this. I don't want to. Elder Sensei 1989 says. 35 meters here, you and me both bro. Women roll their eyes when making eye contact. It used to f up my whole day. Nowadays it is just something to be expected regularly. The Starving Artist 5 says. Yeah it's a complete waste. Everyone else had their dating fun in their teens and twenties. Now everyone is settling down and us losers who got rejected, didn't even get a chance to start. How are we even supposed to date? People will hold it against us, that we have no experience. Throw me way at 35 says. Choosing a drug addict over this guy. Another has no problem sleeping with every man at work but all of a sudden draws the line at you? Make it make sense. Jibloops says. If you have money for plastic surgery go for it. A wrong to plint says. The friend group or office ho realizing she has been too promiscuous in the past, after you make a pass at her. So now she's cutting off everyone at least, until you realize it wouldn't even happen with her. That's a fun one too. I've had ups and downs, but the downs were really harsh, and felt like an intentionally mean, jab to teach me a lesson. Another lone wolf says. Same but I'm 36. Tazzy100 says. One word, Thailand. Wall Street Sites says. Have you considered trying to turn this into an opportunity? Take the approach of Schadenfreude, when they tell you their distressing tales of dickpidity, stupidity keased by penis lust, you just fap, and then once you're done. You can share your side with them if you want. Him being completely facetious, and speaking from the view of someone who is also, forever alone. Dark humor, gotta cope somehow. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.